Have you ever wondered why we always say you can go solar for zero money out of pocket or that you can have savings in your very first month of going solar? I'm sure you've kind of thought to yourself, obviously it costs money to buy solar panels. How can I have savings from my first month? Or how can I do it for zero money out of pocket? Well, I want to share with you guys today our secret weapon in Northwest Arkansas and Southwest Missouri of how we help the majority of our customers purchase a solar system. Because let's face it, a lot of people don't have thousands of dollars of cash just laying around where they can go buy solar panels and then wait years and years for them to get a return on their investment in the form of energy savings. So this is how we speed all of that up and actually help it make financial sense for everybody that we work with. So bear with me for a second as I take you guys through a little bit of a hypothetical scenario here. I'm going to describe to you guys our solar loan product and how that works and how that gets people to savings quicker than anything else that we can do. So after going through all of our numbers, we came up with a few metrics that tend to hold true for pretty much everybody that we work with. Okay, The first is, on average, a lot of you are paying about $150 a month to the utility company for your energy every single month. Some of you are higher, some of you guys are lower, but on average, it's about 150 bucks. So after talking to us, you decide that you want to make an investment into solar. Our goal is to tailor make a solar system for you that offsets as much energy as we possibly can. In other words, we're trying to replace your utility bill with energy that you create on your own through your solar panels. Now the reality is, very rarely can we offset 100% of your usage, but we can get pretty close. So what ends up happening here is after going solar and making your own energy now, this bill drops from $150 a month down to $20 a month. That's a pretty big savings. You're going from 150 down to 20, you're saving yourself $130 per month. But we have to account for the fact that you purchased your solar system using a solar loan. Now a solar loan is really no different than an auto loan or a boat loan. It's a fixed rate, fixed payment. It's a 20 year term and so it never changes over the life of the loan. So for a lot of our customers, this is a pretty realistic solar loan payment every single month, about $110 a month. So you now have two bills instead of one. You have a much lower utility bill every single month and you have a $110 a month solar payment because you finance the panels that are sitting on your roof. Now here's the beautiful thing. From a savings standpoint, your old bill was $150. Now you have a $110 a month solar payment and you still have a utility payment even though it's a lot less than what it used to be. So you're coming out ahead $20 a month from your very first month compared to what you used to pay to the utility company of $150 a month. Over a year that ends up being $240 that you would have paid to the utility company that now you can keep in your pocket and you didn't have to spend any money out of pocket to do that to be able to go solar. Now you might be saying to yourself, Nick, that's not that much money over the course of a year. I spent $240 you know, at a, at, a, at a Razorback game buying tickets and concessions and food and I get it. I'm, I'm, totally, I'm, I'm completely the same way. But here's what I want you to understand. This is just where you're starting. Every single year, the utility company is going to raise their rates. And when they do that, everybody around you that hasn't gone solar is going to have to spend more money to get the same amount of power. So your savings increases every single year that you have those panels on your roof while everybody else around you is paying more for the same power. Plus, it's not predictable for them. They don't know how to calculate what their bill is going to be. So when you're in those hot months of July and August and your energy bills are spiking and it's giving people sticker shock, for you, you stay exactly the same. So that's number one. Number two, eventually, like all loans, you're going to pay off your solar loan. And when you pay off that solar loan, now you get rid of this $110 a month solar payment and all you're left with is your $20 a month utility bill. So now you went from $150 clear down to $20 a month and that's where the savings really begins to pick up because you've paid off that solar loan that you did back when you first bought your system. And number three, the fastest way to help pay off that solar loan is to take advantage of the 30% federal tax credit that the government's offering right now. For most of our customers, that ends up being $5,000. So you take that $5,000 tax credit that you're going to get within the first 12 months of going solar and you apply that to your solar loan and you pay it down even faster. And so when you start putting all these things together, that's when solar begins to make a lot of sense if you'll sit back and actually look at the numbers and realize what's happening there. So if you like this, if this makes sense to you and you want, to, you, you want a proposal, you want to look into it more, click on the link below, fill out the survey, 
and book a discovery call with one of our energy consultants. These guys' only job is to run through the numbers with you, look at your property, because every property is different, and help you analyze and understand whether or not solar is a smart investment. If it is, we'd love to do business together. If it's not, we'll be the first ones to tell you that it doesn't make sense. But either way, you owe it to yourself to figure out whether or not this is a smart investment for you. I hope it is, and I hope we get to meet soon. Thanks, and have a great day.